once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, superficial and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old woman came to the castle and offered him a single peach in return for a selfie. Repulsed by a lack of surgery to combat her old age, the prince sneered at the peach and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman came back as a beautiful young woman. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. And as punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with magic mushrooms as his only source of entertainment. <laughs> the peach he offered was truly an enchanted peach. If he could learn to love another and earn her love, nice! If not, uh, as the years passed, he developed depression and anxiety and lost all hope for who could ever learn to love a beast.
Now it's starting time. A great show you will see. Settle in with friends. Love with no pretense. Unexpected. Actually, to be expected to laugh. This all it will be touched. But at least get yourself prepared. No other show compares to Booty and the Beast. Oh, Beast, why must you always behave like such an animal? Where people use flash photography, the light makes me fly into a blind rage. There's this constant ringing in my ears. Beast, that's the sound of a mobile phone. Well, I'll have it thrown out of the castle as well, so put them on silent. Hello, we're your voiceovers. Matt. Jess. And Alyssa, locked away in the castle dungeons to provide you with bad puns and even worse one-liners for the rest of the night. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Med View 2017. Booty and the, the Beast. written any voiceovers? Yeah, but nothing good to be honest. Well guys, let me just impart some age-old wisdom onto you all. You can't have bad voiceovers if you have no voiceovers.
student. of New South Wales.
They're going to be introducing trimesters instead of semesters. Why? I don't know. Sounds annoying. Sounds annoying? Sounds annoying? This university can we guarding Levy and suck my balls! Honey, it's Wingardium Leviosa, not Wingardium Leviosa. You get it, Hermione? You do yellow shirts. <laughs> said closer did really good do you really want to risk a song that doesn't repeat the same old simple riff monotonous tune basically closer ish just something to overplay on today fm and kiss i'll write something just like this <laughs> Thank you. 
STEM Review 2017. Dr. Strangle. Humpty built a big wall. Humpty Trumpty will suck the third wall. All the white people, but wait, mainly white men, will probably be voting for Trumpty again. Oh, <laughs> 
Selena Gomez goes away on a public holiday. What? She goes away on a long weekend. Stage 
Page one, denial. No, I don't believe that. It was, it was like this, it was like 2% in. It didn't count. Like, what is the actual definition of fully losing it anyway? It's not a loss. I still have it. Stage two, anger. Stage four, depression. <laughs> Stage five, acceptance. Thank <laughs> you. 
combines through traditional Chinese play, Chao Shu Bao, also known as Journey to the West. Introducing UNSW Light Rail, proudly sponsored by Transport New South Wales South East Light Rail Project. Here's some information about our exciting new developments and how it will affect you in the coming years. The current construction phase will be complete by mid-2019, connecting UNSW and its surroundings with Sydney CBD. We understand that students have recently been experiencing some delays, and the New South Wales Government has addressed this by sending out two friendly transport employees wearing bright print shirts at each gate to brighten your day up. Make sure to come by and say hi. In late 2019, we'll begin phase two of our construction project, allowing greater access to campus perimeters. Construction will take approximately 16 years to complete. Phase three construction will carry over from phase two. This 57 year project will bisect the campus, allowing access to AGSM, the library, Wallace Worth, and of course, the roundhouse which will still be in the process of refurbishing by the time of Phase 2's completion. If you thought that the main walkway looked good now, wait until 2035. So when you're waiting in the rain for a bus that Tripview said would totally come half an hour ago but still hasn't arrived, just remember, you will likely never reap any of these benefits unless you've completed a bachelor's degree, two masters and a PhD as a UNSW med student commencing in 2075. In New South Wales Transport, we honestly don't give a fuck about uni students. Mr. Bruno Mars, thank you for coming. I've got a business opportunity for you. Please, take a seat. Okay, hit me up. So you know, you know your biggest hit, 24 karat magic? What if we changed it to 24 hour macas? What? But basically, we just replace all the lyrics in your song with products for Maccas. Um, isn't Maccas not the greatest brand to associate with my biggest hit? Well, this is how much they're offering. Please, don't insult my artistic integrity. <sighs> well, you sure drive a hard bargain. Whoa, that's a lot of money. All right, when do we get started? Oh yes, there'll be some protesters on campus. It's all right though, just ignore them, you'll be fine. Oh, and please, for the love of God, don't fall in love with some girl and run off again. This is your last chance. You know what will happen if you break the contract. Don't worry, I ain't gonna let no protesters get in the way of my professionalism. After all, they don't call me Peter Jean Hernandez for nothing. What? Peter Jean Hernandez, that's my actual name. That's gross, and also irrelevant. Let's just shoot the fucking video. Yes, I'm 
I'm a huge fatty. Oh shit. I'm the hungriest now. So you change in my pocket. So many choices on the menu. And they don't have a key. What you say? Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Keep up.
was a fan before. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Beast, you're horrible and mean, but it's kind of hot. I don't know if I'm into this. I think we need a break. A break? Yes, it's time for intermission. Yay! Stretch your legs, go out into the fire and pick up some delicious snacks provided by our lovely front of house helpers. Be back for more laughs and feels in 20 minutes. You've heard of Pokemon Go. In a cool and futuristic app, you can now walk around campus catching real life snakes. <laughs> a wild snake 
here? I didn't study for this at all. <laughs> what will you do? Fight, item, switch, flee. You chose fight. You released Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin uses crikey. Snake is confused. It is not that type of snake. Snake uses venom. Wow, I really like your shirt. Did you get it from Big W? <laughs> you are now poisoned. What will you do? Fight, item, switch. You used an antidote. So, I don't know if you know, but Alex tends to sing random songs when he thinks he's by himself. It's really cute. The snake is confused. That's an anecdote, not an antidote. <laughs> it hurt itself in its confusion. Snake uses backstab. It's a critical hit. You fainted. Snake snapchats it, puts it on their story, and leaves you there. Haha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Mary had a little van, little van, little van. Mary had a little van, she kidnapped kids with it. What? In some countries, it is still illegal to be gay. Hello, sir. Can I see your license, please? This is a random gay test. Hi, officer. Yeah, sure. So, Mr. Stylish, tell me. Have you been gay today? <laughs> Me? No, no, no. I, I've never been gay in my life. Mm, not even a little bit? Not even once? Or twice? No. Never. Mm. And what's that I smell on your breath? Smells like balls! Amazing. 
That is just my point. All you do is look at shit and still training. <laughs> City goals? Don't you mean seagulls? No, seedy goals. They're like seagulls, but seedy. Seedy goals. Seekers are the worst. Try to get into our homeland. We won't help. Go to Iceland. We can drink. We get more drink. Pour the goo into the sink. King's Cup rules are 60% of the test. Go on and fold your exam. If you fail our test, then you won't be our guest. You're not our guest. You're not our guest. Now go back to where you came from. of Socially Anxious Sally and Socially Anxious Sandra. Sandra, hello! How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good! How are you? Good! What about you? Good, actually. How about you? Good. And, and you? Internally, 
Apparently, this is what they sound like.
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you Germans really don't have a sense of humour. What do you mean? We do! Yeah, that is not true. We have laughs. Okay, tell me a joke. Yeah, he is classic haha, passed down generations of my family. Knock knock! Who is that? Muta! Oh, Muta, come in! <laughs> That's actually not very funny. You probably don't find it funny because you're Jewish. How to tell if you are a menstrual? <laughs> Name a building that is below Asa steps. Wait, that's a what? Ding! Next question. <laughs> Please draw a penis. Wait, what? Please do as you are instructed. Okay. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> How to tell if you are a law student? Please draw a penis. Uh, that's Just a do it. Bonus round. How to tell if you're Asian? Do you wear glasses? Uh, no. Ba-bow! What's three times five? Ba-bow! <laughs> this is strange. Charles Darwin, and a 
theory of natural selection with me, Dangling Atom Bro. <laughs> We are proud of what we've achieved over the past five years in the pursuit of unlimited renewable energy. Powering up with Tesla, we have produced the most powerful form of energy production in history, making all fossil fuels, coals and natural gases in the world redundant. This one energy source has also officially made Australia the largest economy and most powerful military in the world, with the US, Russia, China and North Korea all surrendering the nuclear warheads to us in order to access this infinite, terrifyingly awesome power generator. So how do we do it, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. Help me! UNSW Tyree, be careful what you wish for. Public School's top woodwind orchestra is the best music school in Southern Randwick. Don't worry about the numbers, don't worry about what the other kids are thinking. You're here for a reason. Just have fun. Five, six, and... I want to be great. You're blowing into a plastic stick with seven holes. Got Dorothy Oberlin, you're here. <laughs> Little trouble there. You're half holding. Here we go. Five, six, and... 
Were you hot pulling or were you shading? Anyway, if you deliberately sabotage my lunchtime woodwind band, I will gut you like a pig. My dear God, are you one of those single tier people? You are a worthless pansy ass who is now weeping and slobbering all over my rental woodwind set like a broke unemployed uni student. But sir, she is a broke unemployed uni student. Shut the hell up, Bradley, you flat fingered, treble clever literate fuckbag. I push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that's an absolute necessity. I want to be one of the greats, and because I'm doing that, it's going to take up more of my time, and that's why I don't think we should be together anymore. You're playing the recorder in a primary school band. <laughs> there are no two words in the English language that are helpful and good job. He's just in his beta mode. He's been responding really well to his training, okay? Rick, say ultra white teeth. Alt right. Okay, let's, let's do something a bit easier. Say ultra white. Alt right. Okay. Ul, ultra, tra, white. White. Ultra white. Ban the Muslim. Ah, you're fired. Yeah, fair enough. Remember, white is just right. Shut up. All right, guys, let's divvy up these roles for the group project. It's worth 40%, so we really need to do well on this presentation. Jerry, can you take section A? Sure, can't be fun. Okay, Betty, can you do section B? I guess. Thousand Tang, can you do section C? Well, I'll, wait. I'll do it today, tonight, la. Wait, that's everything. What about you? Like I said, it's 40%, so I'm going to focus on the most important part of the presentation. The background music! Oh, 
Eccentric Lady Gaga visiting us in the studio today. Woo! Hello, everybody. So you had a picture this year. <laughs> that must have been a lot of fun. <laughs> ga, 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 ga. <laughs> you can dance. You can die. I'm a quadriplegic. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you so 
168 minutes. that we are overbooked. So of course, if you are the Lost Pots and Olivia Halliday, please wait patiently as security forcibly removes you from your CD. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs> to dealing with Irrational Fears 101. Today we are going to start slow. Describe exactly what it is about your fear that you are scared of and we'll try to guess what it is. Now, you start. Okay, I think the biggest thing is the glassy, empty, squinty eyes that just stare off into the void. Ooh, I think I have that. Is it a fish? No. Is there anything else? Well, they're just stupidly tall. Their legs are so long and knobbly, so I'm scared they're going to accidentally step on me or something. Ooh, a giraffe! No! Um, uh, they also make a high-pitched screamy noise, and it's just so, so awful. Empty eyes, ridiculous tall, and makes awful noises. I think you're just going to have to tell us now. What is your irrational fear? Taylor Swift. <laughs> to the 
pharma key outside. <laughs> Remember to take the medicine twice a day, you'll be good as right. <laughs> What a weird looking spider. It looks like a daddy with long legs, but... Oh yeah, that's a new type of millennial spider. I think they're called Daddy Issues Long Legs? Oh, it say something. Joke me, daddy! <laughs> Guys think they're being funny. 
low, 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 low. Hey, I think I really like you. I really like you as well. Like, my brother. Oh no, I meant like, I like like you. Yeah, I like like my brother. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> It's what's on the inside that counts. 
Closing song. 